Good evening our viewers. Welcome to our tonight show. My name is Samuel Tutata. So with me here in the studio, I have got my guest who, who will help me in handling this topic of, uh, of today, which will be dealing with teenage pregnancy. So maybe before I start, off, uh, I start our discussion, I may, give, I may give them some chance to introduce themselves. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Gilbert uh, Wafula. I'm the head teacher of uh, St. John's Primary School. Thank you very much. My name is Linda Chikwet. I am a doctor uh, at the St. John Hospital. Thank you. So, if we all know that in the previous two years, the chances of change pregnancy reported in the whole country is very high. So, what are some of the observations that you have seen? is different uh, ex experts. So maybe I may, ask, uh, I may start with the, with the teacher. Yeah, I think uh, the, 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 this issue of uh, teenage pregnancy is, is, a, is a very a big uh, thing that we, we all uh, are supposed to, to be keen on and ensure that uh, we secure the, the future of tomorrow. Uh, from where I come from, the school that I, I head, uh, that is St. John's Primary. Uh, as the head teacher, I have report, uh, received uh, very many cases of teenage pregnancies, uh, and uh, those are uh, our own students, our own pupils, uh, who get pregnant all along the way their their studies. So we, it has been quite a difficult uh, and a challenge. For these things that come along, they may come along uh, due to, let's say, peer pressure, or even just uh, some. Uh, logical excitement that, uh, that may come in during your age as, as, a, as a youth. So I think it is a, it is a challenge and we, we, are doing, we are doing much still to ensure that we cover it. Okay, so before I get to the doctor, I may I, I can come back, back to you. So what are some of the causes that, or some of the things that are causing those kids to, to, to engage themselves in the with their students? Uh, I think as a, as a teacher, I may say that uh, uh, some of the causes of this early pregnancy may be, maybe one as, uh, as I had mentioned is peer pressure, maybe just students or people uh, trying to find out how it feels and uh, what really means to engage uh, in some of these uh, sexual affairs. And then uh, it may also be a, as a, res a result of maybe poor parenting, let's say something of the sort. Maybe you find some parents really don't have that much time to follow up on their children to just to find out how they are interacting with each other and uh, conducting along with their activities. Also, we, we have uh, the fear of the influence of uh, the social media. It's also doing much. Today, uh, you find uh, very young uh, children interacting with the social media and uh, the things that they, they access in the media are not things that are supposed to, to be uh, to be available to them at that age are some of the causes of uh, these teenage pregnancies. Okay, thank you. So, we, as you have heard that there are a lot of causes to this teenage pregnancy, for example, you have said that peer pressure is one of the things, media, influence to media, lack of parental care, and one of the of the things that are causing this, uh, these kids to, to engage themselves in early sex. So, before as we go on with our discussion, you, you can follow us in, in our media platform www.newblister.ac or you can also send your SMS to 222-222-1 so, so I will now get back to our doctor who is together with us in the studio so what are some of the, of the, of the challenges that you are, uh, you are experiencing in, the, in your field? Okay, so the, uh, thank you for the opportunity some of the challenges that I experienced as, as a doctor in my field in terms of teenage pregnancy is number one, misinformation among the teenagers. So teenagers are not informed of the things that are going on in the society. They do not know that contraceptives are now available. They do not know that uh, condoms are available and are free. So you find that a major percentage of the teenagers come to the hospital to deliver and they are not even aware of what is going on. They are also very tiny people, or let me say young for that matter. 
so they are not able to fend for themselves. Some of them have run away from home because of the embarrassment they have caused to their parents. So they end up not being able to provide for the kids. So for example, there reaches a time when you are at the hospital trying to deliver a teenage girl and they have delivered but they do not have clothes to fend for the child, they do not even have food, leave alone the medication or the bill, the, the money to clear the bill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as you know that when these girls are at an early at an early age, they may when they discover that they are pregnant, yeah. they may be maybe they may be <coughs> Taking a question is the best thing. So what advice can you give them? Uh, one of the major advice that I would advise the teenagers yeah. is the, the number one way to protect yourself is to abstain from sex. Because if you abstain from sex, there is no chance, there's like a 0% chance that you'll get pregnant unless something with rape happens of which it is very rare for it to happen. Also, another thing I would like to advise the teenagers is to be able to reach out and be, let me say, proactive. When you are proactive, you get to know the things that are going on in the society, the current issues, the current trends. And by being informed, you will find out that there are contraceptives, there are condoms for free, that you can have fun while protected. Because at this age, I will not deny the fact that teenagers have the art to engage in sexual activity. But there is a way to do that in a protected manner, that you will be able to avoid pregnancy and other problems such as STDs and HIV and AIDS. Thank you. So now, uh, when I come back to our so. At which time are these girls getting into the teenage pregnancy? Is it during the time of holidays or at school? Because that is where I'm only the most of our, of our, of our parents that are uh, going Yeah, uh, I think uh, you, what we, it, it should be understood that uh, this, 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 some of, uh, of these girls of ours, they, they don't get those pregnancies. Uh, out of uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, we understand that uh, it is when the, the two of the opposite uh, gender come together is when we have such. So I think uh, from uh, from my school, uh, my school is a, is a day school, it's not a boarding school, and it's a mixed school. So uh, I think there is just that time for interaction of a boy and boy girl relationship. And uh, when we look at the boarding schools, let's say the girls' boarding school, I think this, at most cases, it, uh, it happens during the, the holidays. And maybe, let's say, when there are some of these activities in school, whereby we have had a, a, a school visiting the other school, and we have, we have had some cases of where we will see the boys sneaking into the, 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 the girls' communities. Uh, uh, and uh, that, I think that, that interaction of boys and girls is what leads to, to this uh, teenage pregnancies. So, but uh, a bigger percentage is uh, erupts from uh, the holiday period. So, to come back to our doctor, you, see, you, you have said that when these girls are at an early age, they may not be able to notice that they are pregnant. So, what are some of the signs that you can use to identify them, they are, to identify that they are pregnant, pregnant? maybe to, to help them to come, to come out of that situation. Let me first start with the signs and symptoms of pregnancy. Uh, one major symptom of pregnancy is uh, vomiting in the morning due to nausea. That is one sign or symptom of pregnancy. The other one is a sudden increase in weight. And yeah, uh, women tend to increase in weight because the body now tries to adjust to allow the baby to be, to have like a more comfortable place to thrive in. The other symptom of pregnancy is tenderness, tenderness of the breast. That is usually because now the mammary glands are getting ready to start producing the. Those are some of the major signs 
signs and symptoms of pregnancy, but there are no only that if you want to find out more you can visit our website at the so, as you have said that most of the world, during the time of school you find that most people in that case, I mean, boys, they used to sleep to So, uh, as a teacher, what is a risk? What are you doing? What are you doing for sending the same? I think there are, there, there are some measures that have been put in place as, uh, as, as far as I'm concerned. Of course, I don't come from those schools that are maybe boarding a boys or boarding girls, but I've heard that uh, there are some measures. Maybe if you are both sneaking, let's just say, let's just put it as sneaking out of the institution. You'll be, you, you are maybe given something like an, uh, a suspension or an expulsion, which I think it, uh, in some way, it, it tries to restrict you as a student and really focus on what uh, what is your core agenda as a student in school. I think that that may also help uh, at some point. There is uh, there has also been this uh, uh, the corporal punishment. It has not been eradicated uh, yet from the schools. I think those are some of uh, the issues that have been uh, put in place by these institutions, these uh, secondary schools and even private schools, to ensure that uh, there is not uh, that much uh, sneaking out and in of uh, schools. I think our leaders, are, uh, our viewers are just listening to us and following us. So as we, as we continue with our discussion, we we'll get back to our teacher who is also in the studio. What are some of the, of the issues, of all the principles that this student are looking to face when they are uh, that teenage uh, I think uh, this issue, teenage pregnancies, has got uh, some quite a lot of uh, effects. And, uh, just to be specific is uh, negative effects. Uh, one is that uh, you as, as a student or as that uh, people who has, uh, who has encountered this uh, early pregnancy, you, uh, it may be difficult on your side to proceed with your studies and uh, just because of uh, the, the, the trauma that you will have to face. Uh, uh, you know, uh, before that you are interacting and you have your friends but suddenly when you get uh, that uh, pregnancy, I think there, is, they, they, there are those friends that you will lose, you will feel isolated, and uh, mentally you will be challenged, you will, you, you will feel not uh, quite well accepted by your friends and the society, and I think that can bring you a lot of uh, this disorientation of the mind and uh, being a challenge for you to proceed with your studies. Also, it, uh, it, it brings uh, some, some of the economic effects, let's say back at your family, uh, that is just another burden that is, is, is being foreseen or being expected because now there will be that, because as a student or as a people you don't have the finances to cater for the needs of this child that is just coming by. So I think it is now upon, uh, upon to your parents or to your relatives to go further uh, into their pockets, to go further into their into their uh, uh, income, to ensure that just they give that comfort, not just to you, but even to the to the unborn that uh, is being expected. There is also, I think, that is uh, economic effects. There are the social effects that I've talked about, whereby you you you, you will be traumatized and uh, feel isolated from other people. There is also some of the effects such as uh, maybe you lose you lose trust from your friends, you lose that respect and also you will have you, you will now uh, start developing some of uh, different minds of what which really direction do you do you take in life. Like you will feel like now it's the, is it the end of life or is it the end of everything. So I think uh, this teenage pregnancies has quite a lot of effects and even some that I've not mentioned, I think our doctor will try to elaborate more about uh, the effects. I can give our doctor a chance to also tell us some of the consequences that these young girls are likely to experience while at that, at that situation. Okay, thank you for the opportunity once more. Uh, one of the major consequence of pregnancy is uh, the emotional trauma that, it, that comes with it. Because now, being a teenager, you are starting to see life from a different perspective. You're also, start, you're also starting to undergo different changes in your body. And uh, before you absorb that, adding uh, 
teenage pregnancy, adding pregnancy in itself is a whole body. So there is the emotional trauma, there's also the physical trauma. Considering if you're a teenager, you have not yet fully matured. So your body might not be able to accommodate the child. Yeah. So you find that sometimes miscarriages occur. And uh, miscarriages isn't really the best thing to go through as well because there are a lot of things concerned. Yeah. Okay, before I end our, our discussion, maybe I can give our doctor, who is also our parent, the last minute to tell maybe to tell something, to tell those, what advice can you give to those kids? Okay, the, the advice I would give them is to, first of all, be patient, things take like time, so, and everything happens in its own time. So, you will be, you will be an adult one day, and it will be your time to have things. So, if possible, please wait, it is worth the wait. Also, the other last thing is I want you, all of you, to focus on your education because when you focus on your education, everything else that is unnecessary is like it, it is not in your focus, so you do not see them. So you are hardly ever going to go through them. Thank you. So, once again, I really appreciate you for making your, yourself available for our uh, today uh, discussion. I say thank you and welcome another. Yes. So that is uh, the end of our today's discussion. My name is Samuel.